This video will be about modifying Battalion Wars 2 to complement my earlier video about Battalion Wars 1. I have prepared a bunch of things, a WIT, WIMS ISO tools. This will be necessary for extracting and rebuilding the game. And I have the game itself. To set up Wins ISO tools, you run Windows install.exe. The text file also tells you to do that. And once you have installed it, you will need to restart your computer or it won't work properly. It's a command line tool, so we need to open the command line in this folder. I press shift and right click so we can open the command window here. And if you have set up the program correctly, you will see this. I have already restarted and rebooted once, so I don't have to do it now. And now we will extract the files. VIT copy battalion was to ISO. This is the one here. We tell it to extract as a file system, so it will be it will be a bunch of files on our disk and the destination folder will be just this. Um, whoops, it's a typing error. Okay, this will take a little bit. Um, there's no way to speed this up, but thankfully extracting the files only needs to be done once. I've tested several other tools, like I tested Qt with GUI that didn't work at all for me. I tested um, we Backup Fusion that couldn't rebuild the file, I think. And I tried we Scrubber, and it was rather painful to set up. So I think this tool, even though Wim's ISO tools looks a bit scary, is actually the better choice. Okay, it's ready. So we can go in and this is a bunch of stuff we don't need. The, the tool created it. We need files. And if you ever looked at the files of Battalion Wars 1, this will look a little bit familiar. We have strings over here, uh, audio over there, compound files. Again, one big difference is that files are now. Some files are now compressed. I will use 7-zip to extract the files and change them again. Okay, so this time around we want to open the level file again and I will change the final level. Okay, uh, yes. I have extracted this. Actually, I can keep this open for now. We go in here and we have the level file and they are actually bigger than they were in Battalion Wars 1. At least twice as big. So this time around we have hints, but this doesn't matter much. Um, so instead of changing the army I am controlling, that can be 
troublesome sometimes I will do some other fun stuff let's try to go to the uh, chase target uh, is that the only one it's the only one okay we are going to this one ground vehicle we are controlling um, actually let's make a second view of this okay so we go to this vehicle this should be the Tundran um, battle station it's, it belongs to the Tundran territories unit icon battle station okay what can we do with it uh, for example we can go to the physics base let's go ground vehicle physics base this controls the speed of the vehicle uh, we can speed it up a little bit let's 50 here 50 there what else do we have we have this we can change this we can change this and this this will speed it up quite a bit turn rate um, maybe increase that as well let's see and mm, there's a bunch of stuff you can change and that's about it for now in terms of ground speed let's go back to the vehicle base uh, there's another thing um, let's check out the weapon if I can find it ah the weapon is in the seed data not here but quite here here we have the first seed entry has the weapon let's go to it here we have a um, weapon type let's go to the weapon type um, whoops this <laughs> okay we found the weapon base and what we have here is a bunch of stuff we can increase the ammo the munition so it has more stuff we can increase the reload time to half a second anything else minimum range maximum range maximum range hit hint maximum range oh yeah I think that's it and because it was so fun let's add a second battle station so we copy this entire object and we change the position a bit let's see uh, hopefully it will be fine one of them is the current position one of them is the spawning position but the battle station doesn't respawn anyway so it doesn't matter and one important thing 
you want to change the ID, otherwise the game will re very likely crash. Let's use this. This one is very likely not used anywhere. Looks like it. And anything else we need to change? I think not. Okay, we should be fine. Fun part. The battle station has no passengers. Okay, so we changed something in the level file. Now we will open up the compressed file and we drag this into this. We say yes and it's changed. We go back to Vim's ISO tool and now we copy it from the ISO onto the file folder. Now we want the reverse we copy from the folder into a new ISO. Like this. In case the file already exists, you will have to add overwrite. Otherwise, it will complain and not rebuild the game. This will take a while. So usually while waiting for the rebuilding to finish, you probably just want to browse the internet a bit more or go to the toilet, get some coffee, whatever, because it takes some time. Okay, so what makes this more easy to use is because we can write this into a special file. Let's see, um, rebuild bv2.bat. Now we can write the entire command here into this. And let's add a pause so once it finishes we can see the window and in case there's an error we will see the error too and it finished so now instead of having to use this scary comment window we could just double click this bat and it will rebuild the game now that it is ready, let's open up Dolphin and we start up this. So if you remember, we modified the final level of Battalion Wars. Campaign 3, Tundron Territories, uh, The Reckoning. Let's hope this has worked. The loading times are a bit better on the Wii, it seems. 
We will skip this cutscene. <laughs> Hello, battle station. And let's see. The reloading is pretty quick, as you can see. And the game is lagging quite a bit. When the recording is finished, it will probably be even worse. But bear with me for a little bit. It's just a simple demonstration of how we <laughs> how we can modify the vehicles and add another one. Oops, I just noticed, but because I increased the ammo. In a single clip, it actually fires several at once. Well, there's no such thing as overkill. Increasing the speed didn't work out quite as well. would we'll probably have to mess around with that. Okay, but um, modifying the XML files is quite annoying and there is a better way to do it. I have written a graphical tool for modifying the XML files. And I will make a video about that when it is ready. Well, more more ready than it is. <laughs> it's quite interesting. If I hold down the but button. It shoots everything almost at once, or I can press it for a short while and it will shoot a small burst of two shells. Well, this was it for Battalion Wars 2. I hope you found the video helpful.